Homelessness is a severe and growing problem in McHenry County. These are real lives, hidden behind shopping malls and in groves of trees, under bridges and in empty parking lots all year round. You can close your eyes to the problem, but the appalling level of individuals stripped not only of their homes, but their self-worth and dignity won't go away. Last year, McHenry County PAD served 600 homeless individuals in your community, including 86 families with over 120 children, ranging from ages three months to 17 years. 178 individuals spent 6,500 nights at seven emergency church sites during the months of October through April. Over 19,540 meals were served. I think more and more of the um, community is realizing it could happen to them and or it's already happening to a loved one and I think people are already struggling with that. I don't think people realize how big the homeless problem is now. I think people just want to shut their door to it sometimes. And it's sad to say, I, it goes back, it can happen to anybody. I think coming on here, um, coming from Pioneer Center, when I took the role as a program manager, I didn't realize when a person sat in that chair, it could be me, it could be you. It, it opens your eyes. It, you, I, to me, I see homelessness in a, a different way now. Misconceptions and predisposed judgments blind us to the realities of how a person becomes homeless. Everyone deserves to live with dignity, without discrimination. When you think homeless, you think, oh, they're just a drunk or they're just a drug addict. But I can go right, walk outside this door right now and I can go grab a woman who is, looks just like you, who has an 11 month old child, who isn't a drug addict, who's not mentally ill, who just lost her job and she's a single mom. What is she going to do? And she's looking for, she needed some place to have her child. And, and so, you know, we have a bed open for her, but then there's another single mom that comes in. We have no more room. You know, what about those people? They need help. We all ended up here for different reasons, but we all have the one thing in common, which is we want to, you know, make something of ourselves again. You know, we want to get back up on our feet and just be happy again. You go into the square and you look around and you see someone who's dressed nicely and, and, and looks, is dressed to the T's and is walking around and has a cup of coffee, you know, think to yourself, there is a possibility that person could be homeless, that they're walking to the park where they're gonna sleep for the night, you know, that they're walking to a place where no one can see them, where they're gonna sleep for the night or to a church site. Think about that, because that person, that person could be anybody. It could be your best friend who's not telling you because they're ashamed. Homeless people live with humiliation, alienation, and an uncertain future. It was so bad that I really didn't even care to live. Children bear the brunt of homelessness by living through traumatic experiences. It's not the kid's choice to, to get into this situation, and oftentimes it's not the parent's choice, but the kids don't know what's going on. You know, they're stressed out. You know, they, they just, they want mommy to hold them, you know, they want some place to, to, to live, they want to eat, you know, and, and we're thinking about that. We want to get those kids out of that situation. Like I said, it was either living in my car or nowhere to go. The whole friends bouncing from house to house with the baby, impossible, you know, and I needed some stability, you know, to, to re, you know, to start my life again, and, and I came here. Feelings of shame, embarrassment, and worthlessness often prevent individuals from seeking help. You look at a client when they first come in, they're scared, they're nervous, their face is down like this, um, they're looking at the floor, not making eye contact. My son, he would visit me in the tent, you know, and it's embarrassing, you know, it's pretty embarrassing. Clients walk around holding all of this in, and they come into my office, and I'm, I'm truly honored to to be present, to allow for that process, to let all of that out, all that stress of, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna support my kids? How am I gonna support my wife? You know, I, I need to get better. I need to feel better physically so I can get a job, so I can, uh, so I can get a house, you know, something as simple as a home. 
The first step is to garner the courage to ask for help. It takes a real brave person to come out of that and say, I was homeless, I had no job, I'd lost my family and friends, so I'm at PADS. I was uh, totally helpless and had no knowledge of the PADS. I had no knowledge at all. Everybody needs help one, you know, once in a while or sometime in their life, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Many are victims of circumstance, a lost job or loved one, domestic violence, mental illness, through no fault of their own. The struggle for everyday survival, however, gets wearisome. There still is that survival that goes on in those people, and they will challenge themselves just enough to get through the days and the weeks and the months. Um, usually they'll have bouts of success, so they know it's out there, uh, and then they maybe fall back, but they'll climb back out and um, try to overcome whatever that obstacle is. She's got to find that one thing, you know, that's worth living for, and whether it's a baby, um, just any reason, it's there. McHenry County PADS offers hope. They have a place to come here to get case management or ask questions or use the computer, use the showers, laundry facilities. That's important, so, so they have options, which is great about this program. McHenry County PADS provides services that help homeless individuals to get back on their feet and reclaim their lives. Last year at the PADS Day Center in Woodstock, 285 individuals received assistance and 60 people, including 12 children, stayed in the emergency sleeping rooms. McHenry County PADS provides additional services including counseling, classes, computers, child care, showers, laundry, telephones, and an address to receive mail. PADS Transportation Services accommodated 13,130 trips, providing assistance around the county, taking individuals to job interviews, doctor appointments, and out of the cold to the safety of church sites. Some of them just had a bad, bad luck at a draw. They lost the job, lost their housing, and just uh, fell on hard times. PADS changes lives. PADS Transitional Living Facility offers supportive services for up to 20 individuals. Last year, 50 people called the facility home. Pioneer and PADS philosophy is to find the potential in, in our clients and make that work for them. It makes it worth it when you see somebody come out and say, you know what, this is a good feeling. We helped this person. And the best part about that is when they come back a year later and they're still doing good. That's, that's what matters. I had given up and ready to throw in the towel before I came into the program here. And now I have my own apartment and I'm really grateful for that. Uh, PADS uh, connected me with Pioneer and showed me openings that I never knew really about or, you know, but because I wanted this in my life, they were very, very encouraging to me uh, to put me on the right path. Our mission is to end homelessness one day at a time, and that's, that's what we thrive on. Take a stand and help families in need. Help others regain dignity and stability in their lives. Ignite your compassion and take action. If you don't, who will? And watching the, our generation, um, the 20-somethings and the high schoolers starting to care about it, um, it means that there's, there's hope for the future and that we might actually grow to a point where homeless, homelessness can be no more and could not exist. If everybody brought in one pillow, you can go to Kmart, Walmart, and get, buy them for $2.50. If everybody brought in one pillow, that, we would have enough for everybody to have brand new pillows. I mean, if one person would just do one little thing and spend $3, what a difference that would make to these people. There are people here who are suffering and who need our help. You know, we're here, you know, we're here to help each other, you know, so let's help each other. Join McHenry County PADS in our second annual Sleep Out for Shelter on April 30th to help end homelessness. 
Sleep Out for Shelter is a countywide educational experience and fundraiser to help end homelessness in McHenry County. Event participants will spend the night outside in tents, boxes, or cars to raise awareness and money for McHenry County pads. Through the collection of pledges for spending one night, eight hours, outside the comfort of their homes, participants will help homeless individuals in their search for shelter and a new beginning. The evening will start with an awareness raising rally. Participants can sleep out at one of the rally sites or they can turn their lawns into temporary homeless shelter sites and camp out at their home or place of business. We're called to do it as human beings is just to is to walk in other people's shoes. Um, it's important for us to, to not just take what we have for granted. The, the hot showers, a fridge full of food, and a warm bed, we can't take that for granted. And I encourage everybody to do the sleep out for shelter because if, if only for one night, then you have 364 days of comfort. But for that one night, you get a little bit of a perspective of what somebody else goes through. Well, a little bit of what it's like not to have a home not to have a washroom to get up and, and go to in the evening, not to have a nice warm bed, what it's like to be outside sleeping, and uh, what it's like just not to have a nice home to go to. But if 500 or 1,000 people slept out, that's a community coming together to eradicate homelessness in McHenry County. And if, if we can come together just for the experience alone, change will happen. And if we can come together and raise money, PADS can do more for the community. And um, the more people, the more impact. We have a social responsibility to give back. And, and with success, and we've had a lot of success here, uh, comes a responsibility to help people less fortunate. There is a responsibility that we all share to help one another. Your acts of kindness can help others to lift themselves out of hopelessness. Your actions will change lives. McHenry County PADS is not a state-funded program. It is a community-funded program. Will you help?